Hey there yogis, Elizabeth Scala here. Thanks for joining me. We're going to do a short, it's going to be less than 15 minute yoga practice, seated postures. I'm all about the props, have them handy, you know me, use them at any time. So go ahead and grab a block and have a seat on a block or a cushion, pillow, bolster, lifting your hips so they're up above your knees. Seated in a cross-legged posture, bringing your hands to your thighs, dropping your shoulder blades down the back, connecting with your breathing. Breathing in and out of the nose. Observing your breath in this moment. With your inhale, you can blink your eyes open and go ahead and lift the arm up, exhaling over to one side. Inhale, switching arms. Exhaling over. Inhale, lifting. And exhale, bend. Inhale, lifted. Exhale, leaning. One more time, each direction. Following your breath. Breathing into the stretch. Noticing where you feel sensation. Coming to stillness, meeting me at neutral. I'm turning, you don't have to turn. Just to show you our seated cat-cow posture. So hands remain at your thighs. With your inhale, drop the shoulder blades, lift the chest, gazing up. Slight back bend in the lower back. Exhale, rounding your back, belly button towards spine, chin to chest. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, round the back, chin to chest. Inhale, back bend, chest lifts, shoulders down the back, looking up. Exhale. Round the shoulders, round the back, belly button towards spine. Keep going at your own pace, breathing in and out of your nose for your seated cat-cow. bringing this to stillness, meeting me at neutral. If you are seated on a block, go ahead and remove that block. Moving into the Sufi grind, go ahead and drop your shoulder, and then coming around the side towards the back, moving in circles at the hips. This is if you're a mortar, grinding a mortar into a mortar bowl. Moving at your own pace, following your breath. Let's go the opposite direction. Coming to stillness. Let's go ahead and take the butterfly posture. Soles of the feet coming together. I sometimes like to place my blocks underneath my knees, outer parts of my hips. Soles of the feet together, sitting long and tall. And with your inhale, lifting through the spine. Exhale, leading with the chest, flat back. Inhale, lift through the spine. Exhale, flat back, just a little bit more. Inhale, lift and lengthen, this time rounding the back, 
Coming all the way down, forehead to stacked fists, a block, warrior mat. Breathing into the back side of the body, opening up across that back. With your inhale, taking your hands, pressing up against your legs, coming back up to seated. Let's go ahead and scoot ourselves forward. Coming down on our backs, rolling just a bit from side to side, massaging out the back. Go ahead and bring that to stillness. Allow both of the soles of the feet to make contact with the mat. Taking one foot, lifting it up, crossing your leg over the leg that's still planted to the mat. So the outside of the ankle is making contact with your upper thigh. Right here you can stay if you're already feeling a stretch in this reclined pigeon posture or the foot that is on the mat, you can lift up, thread your arm through the hole, grasp your hands together on the back side of your thigh, pulling that leg toward your body. Keep on breathing. Breathe where you're feeling the sensation. Go ahead and release your hands, letting the foot drop back down to the mat, uncrossing your legs, other side. Lifting the leg up, taking the outside of your ankle, making contact with your upper thigh. Again, you can stay right here if this is a stretch for you, or you can lift the leg that's making contact with the mat, off the mat, threading your hand through the hole, grasping your hands together behind the thigh, pulling the leg in towards your chest. Recline Pigeon. Go ahead and place that foot back down to the mat. Have the other foot meet that foot where it's at on the mat and then let your knees drop from side to side, just releasing your lower back. Let's take a quick twist here. So dropping your knees to one side. Arms come to a T, gaze stays up towards the ceiling. Inhaling the legs up, and then exhaling both legs to the other side. Again, just Allow yourself to take a gentle twist. Don't mind the yoga props. Inhaling up again through the middle. This time, taking your hands and allowing them to grasp around beneath your knees. And just rocking from side to side. Now changing that rock from side to side to forwards and back. So allowing your feet to fly overhead as you rock on the long sp side of your spine. So top to bottom almost. And then rock yourself all the way up to a seated posture. Great job, yogis. All right, coming back to where we started. <sighs> Good thing I didn't sit on the pine cone as the yoga block. All right, coming back to where we began. If you'd like to place a block beneath you, you can. Not, necess not necessary or mandatory. Taking your hands to your thighs. Relaxing your shoulders down the back, sitting up long and tall through the sits bones. 
Gently resting your eyes if you're comfortable to. Breathing in and out of the body, observing the body, noticing its sensations. Allowing your hands to drop to your sides. Scooping your arms out wide, bringing your hands up overhead. Exhaling your hands, palms together at heart center. Do this two more times. Inhaling out and up. Exhaling, bringing the hands down in front of you. Last time. Inhaling, lifting. Long and tall, hands come together, exhaling, hands at heart center. It was an honor to practice with you today. Thank you for joining me. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Feel free to check out any videos on this page and visit me at elizabethscala.com for more information and resources. Thank you.